Without wasting any time, let's start. Press Windows plus X key together to open options. Then click on search. Type TSKMGR in the search. Right click on Task Manager and select Run as Administrator. Now pay attention. For some users, Task Manager would open in quick mode. If it opens in quick mode like this, then you need to click on More Details. Now click on File Menu and select Run Task. Now click Browse button and follow my screen. Choose this file in C drive. We will need to provide update options before we run it. Now click at the end and type these update options like this. Now again pay attention. We need to run this to update the libraries. So check on this box here and then click on OK. Now execute gp update command. Follow my screen. This does half of our work here. Now execute this cls command. And now type exit and hit enter to quit this window. Close this task manager tool. In the next step go to search bar and type for control panel then from the search results click here to open it then click on network and internet now click on network and sharing center and then click on adapter settings now right click here and select properties it will open ethernet properties window now select IPv4 and then click on properties now go to search bar and type CMT right click here and select run as administrator now type ipconfig and hit enter now check for the addresses and now follow my screen and for subnet mask you need to hit tab button Now again go to command prompt then now type ipconfig dash all and hit enter. For the next processor you need to type this 192.168.187.200 and then hit enter. Ok. Now type here 200 and then check this option and click on ok. And close this and it will try to detect the problem. After that close the troubleshooter and close all windows one by one.